Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Midnight Texas Season 1, Episode 8. This episode's called The Last Temptation of Midnight. Ooh. In the beginning, we see a faceless man, smoothed over face, no voice. There's no mouth for him to speak out of. Of course he wouldn't have a voice. On his wrist, there's like a hook nail, a talon like an eagle would have, a claw, a sharp tool. And that is what he carves their face out with. What in the world? I'm talking, this episode, this episode is face off, no Nick Cage, no Johnny T. Takes the preacher's face, midnight bound. Let's get it. Manfred is popping pills in the van, getting the heck up out of Dodge. Is that a Dodge van? That would be crazy if that's really a Dodge van and he's getting the heck up Lydia out of Dodge. And okay. Lim, still very much in love in the beginning of the episode. At the end, they kind of had a defining moment for the relationship, wouldn't you say? The Rev is killing a rare steak. The bloody. Fiji, why does this ghost want you, lady? Why does coconut, co coconut, coconut? Carl Kanai, I don't, whatever his name is, Coconut, why does he want you? What happened? I feel like this guy obviously knows who she is. Somehow, some way, she's came in contact with them. Two episodes left. Two episodes left for this to make sense. It's a little bit driving me nuts at this point. Manfred's childhood story, kind of typical for a lot of people. I've heard it before, you know, kids get made. Kid gets picked on. Parents not in his life. Grandmother steps in, has this nickname, Manny. Not predictable, not ordinary. He's, he's extraordinary. He's not playing with kids. He's not playing with his friends. He's playing with spirits. He's a special person. His grandma had two great lines this episode. When the going gets tough, we can roll on. Everything dies, and then the van dies. Oh, the timing, timing. G, I felt like, don't trust that lady at your house. Out the gate, I felt like, don't trust her, don't trust her. Why are they showing the knives? Why are they showing the knives? Oh, they're taking over their minds. These people wanna kill themselves, this is crazy. Fiji was able to use her telekinetic powers and retrieve that knife from that lady's hand. Later on, Creek had a similar issue with the knife and being taken over and told to hurt herself. I'm very happy with this episode based on the fact of we get to see more grandma. That's all I wanted. She's funny, she's cool, uh, she's dead. She's the captain obvious of the show. Everything that you're saying at home, grandma's saying it too, typically. I like it. I was very happy to see her. I was very happy to see her in this episode. Sad that the cat wasn't there. It was also very sad to see her take her goodbye cocktail in the van, in the RV and she did it in front of Manfred. Now we know why she's, now we know why she was stationed in that vehicle. We also got to see her leave. Mm, Manfred. Joe Strong, I don't even think Joe was in this episode, was he? I don't think so, y'all drop a comment below. Joe and, Joe and Grandma both believe that Manfred is the one. He's the one to help save, fight, and bring justice to midnight. The problem is Manfred has to believe that he is the one. To see faceless dude taking over semi trucks and, and just leaving all the bodies in the back of his trailer, his truck, to, his tractor trailer, disgusting. That was nasty. That was freaked out. That was very, very weird. Wow. All the blood on the face. It looks like bloody red baby oil face scalp. It's it's mm -mm. too nasty for my stomach. Manfred riding shotgun with the no face killer. Oh my goodness. Predictable, yes. Good TV, mm-hmm. I was very surprised that they would throw Manfred in the back of the trailer in the midst of dead, dead, dead. Oh, he did, he did. Then had him looking through the pockets for cell phones. Oh my goodness. See, Creek and Lemuel tripping, wow. To see Lemuel go that far. No relationship is safe in Midnight. No one can be happy in love in Midnight. Midnight is for where the broken go to remain broken. How can they be happy? They're running from the past. To what kind of future though? What's ahead? Liv stabbed her boo. The most violent bedroom fight on NBC history. It was a cool fight scene. She said no, he's like yes. She said no, he's a nut. She pulls out some tools from under the bed and I'm like, dang, who just has these? Who has fighting sticks under their bed? Get it, girl? Liv donkey kicking Lim and Lim knocking her into that tub. Oh my goodness. Only thing that helped break free Creek and Lemuel was 
Fiji's Watery Potion. Later on, the whole crew pops up. Like I said, they always do. Captain Planet Power Ranger style in the middle of the roadway. We got this. We're going to save the town. And we find out somebody knows Fiji. Coconut, Coconut, whoever you are. Wow. Let it be known. Let it be known Wednesday or let it be known next week. We got to get to the bottom of it before this season is up. Then the fire comes and it engulfs everything. See Manfred summon all of those spirits though? I didn't see that coming. Powerful power. It summoned the scalped. Wow. We know that someone, we know something, someone, whatever it is, is underground still waiting and lurking and we'll figure it out. Um, the veil, the veil is opening. There's two episodes left. Will any relationship last at midnight? Will the veil open? Will Joe return? Because I don't think he was in this episode. Is Chewie going to do something else to go beast mode? Will Lem end up biting Olivia? Will Lem vamp Olivia? Yeah, why Donna at the diner? How she got the money? Will the Mr. Snuggles, Mr. Snuggly be back? What's Creek going to do with that property? It's a lot of questions. It's a whole lot going on. And the main thing is the veil. All right, y'all drop a comment below. Let me know what you think until the next time. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Wednesday, I'll be back. Peace.